much like a lot of other people who have had Evos, um, I've been having a lot of issues with the idle. Um, as you can tell, the car's kind of warmed up right now already, but it wants to idle at 1500 to 2000 RPMs. Um, I've actually turned down the adjustment screw to lower it, but what also happens is I start getting an idle surge, which of course is not doing it right now, but uh, basically when I drive around, it will kind of bounce between like, you know, 1,000 to 2,000 RPMs. Um, the throttle body itself, at one point, I removed it from the car and kind of cleaned it out a little bit. Um, removed the uh, idle adjustment screw because I bought a new one. And um, when I installed everything back together, um, basically it seemed like it actually ran a little bit better, but then actually started running a little bit worse as far as the idle goes. In the past, if I stopped at a light, there were times where if I put it in neutral and was like coasting to a stop, um, basically the RPMs would drop so low that it would almost stall out. Um, it's It hasn't actually been doing that lately, but one thing I was told about is in the throttle body, there's kind of a black coating and that black coating is actually installed by, the, uh, by Mitsubishi and there's a gap if you clean off that coating, there's basically a gap all the way around the butterfly valve on the throttle body that will end up having a basically an air leak. So when you clean it really thoroughly, you're getting rid of that black coating, which then actually makes it run a little bit worse because now you're not really able to regulate the airflow. They have been told as something like this, this is a dry molly lube. It's like, a, creates like a dry film. And if you put a couple coats of that uh, on the inside of the throttle body around the butterfly valve, that should actually help to, uh, to kind of get rid of that gap. And also, I noticed before the, uh, the gasket between the throttle body and the intake manifold, it's like a kind of, I think a brass or something like that. I'm a, I bought this one. I'm gonna actually try to use this one and see if uh, see if um, this one actually will help kind of seal it up too. Because I'm thinking maybe that that brass one, maybe that's just too. Uh, it's got texture to it, and maybe it's just not crushing enough, or maybe it's a one-time use thing. Once you uh, remove it, then you know, then you might have to replace it. So I'm gonna also try that. This is the old gasket and you know, I'm not really sure if this is supposed to be used more than once or if it's a one-time use thing, but got the new gasket. Hopefully that one fits. Um, now what I'm going to do is actually take the throttle body and around these edges across here, that's apparently where you're supposed to spray the dry lube. And fortunately, I don't have a flashlight with me, but it should create kind of a, a seal all the way around here so that when you come to a stop or when it's, you know, when you're, when you let off the gas pedal, that should close and completely seal. So I guess I'll start, like what I'm gonna do first Let's kind of wipe this all down because I did, you know, put like a, some kind of a solvent in there before when I tried to clean it out. And unfortunately I didn't have the spray I have right now that just came in the mail uh, today. So what I'm gonna do is try, try to clean it up a little bit before spraying this, just to make sure that it actually sits uh, properly in, in place. 
and then uh, get on to the spraying. This is the second coat. As you can tell, it's, I, I, you know, I got some overspray I'm gonna wipe off, but as you can tell though, it does kind of actually stick and it does seem like it's gonna help to get rid of the air leaks around it. So I'm gonna probably try to do a couple more coats just so I know around the edges, around the edges across here. If I can get rid of those little light spots, maybe uh, maybe this will seal up. Okay, well, it's not perfect, but I think I, I got a good layer across there. Um, what I'm gonna do now is install the gasket, put the throttle body back on, uh, reattach the uh, throttle linkage, and um, probably install the intercooler uh, pipe back on and everything else, the air box and everything. And then take it for a little bit, a uh, little drive and see if it made any difference whatsoever. All right, everything's back together. All the electrical connections are back. So should be good to start it up and uh, take it for a little test drive and see if we're still getting the, uh, see if we're still getting the uh, idle issue. All right, so. Right now, it seems like everything's idling still really high. The car is cold, so. Um, now again, this could be a situation where I need to adjust the idle screw, but for right now, what I wanna do is take it for a spin and let it warm up and then kinda of see where the RPMs uh, settle to. And then once the car's warmed up, then I can adjust the idle screw if, if uh, need be. At this point, the biggest thing I want to make sure is that I'm not getting the idle surge where it just kind of bounces around, you know, where it bounces between like 1,000 to 2,000 RPM or where it's too low and it ends up wanting to stall out. Now, I've bought about five of these idle control valves and even though some of them have advertised that they're OEM, obviously, I, they came in packages that did not have the package, you know, the OEM packaging. So it could just be that I've been getting a lot of really bad idle control valves, but we'll see.
did seem to run a little bit better. Um, as far as the idle goes, it wasn't as bouncy. Uh, but there's definitely something uh, still wrong with the throttle body or maybe one of the sensors is still bad. Uh, I might have to buy a couple more sensors and try uh, those again. Um, I did replace the crankshaft position sensor, the throttle uh, throttle position sensor, and the idle air control valve. Um, I've replaced the idle control or like idle air control valve, I think about five times, and each one seemed to make the car run a little differently. But right now, even the way it is currently, there's times where when I come to a stop, it seems like it's almost uh, stalling out and um, and when and basically when I sit at idle, you know, it, it wants at, at some points it's actually going all the way up to about 1500 RPM and just kind of seems like there's still something not quite right. So I guess uh, diagnosis is going to still be going on. So the car is running better, but not quite right yet. So that will continue until next time. Subscribe, like, comment for more. Thank you for watching.